The long-awaited time has come. It's been 10 months. Yeah, because Nine somebody months. didn't come for my birthday. That was me. I didn't come for my birthday. <laughs> Which was a really sad moment. But a really rude moment. Uh, but anyways, we're back! The long-awaited moment has arrived. We're getting ready for Halloween. It's not actually Halloween today. We are doing a little Halloween shoot. Guess what we're gonna be as we're getting ready. We have about two hours to get ready. We need to leave here by 2.30 and it's around 12 right now. Reagan always has me do her eyes, so it takes a million more years to get ready than it normally would. Um, but that's the sit. Welcome back! I'm starting with a little setting spray. We have a new product in the house. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. We all know and love this product. Reagan has it, so I've used it because Reagan has it, but I've never owned it before. I went back to my original makeup routine because something about the products that I was using was not mixing right and it was looking so cakey and it was separating and it was just horrible. So I went back to the products that I know and love, which NARS, I love. All of their products are so light and skin-like. I hate it when it looks like you're wearing makeup. And I love NARS because you can do a full beat and it doesn't look like you've caked your face with makeup. And NARS is really good with blending liquid and powder products. Like you can kind of use both as you do your makeup, but there are certain powder products that you can't use with liquid product and there are certain liquid products that you can't use with powder. And I hate when you like put liquid on top of powder and it just ruins the powder. Like my skin after this foundation, it literally still looks like my skin and obviously with a foundation like this too it's super easy to build if you do want a heavier coverage but i prefer a lighter coverage i don't mind if i have blemishes and they kind of show through i just want my skin to look like skin at the end of the day okay next i can't tell if this lighting is good or not Boop. this foundation just also makes everything that i put on top of it blend so seamlessly it's my favorite foundation for sure is it so insane if i use rare beauty and road <laughs> together wait that's really funny <laughs> actually looks gorge for powder i went back to the og nars crystal loose setting powder i was using the one size for a little bit and i'm sorry but i hate that powder it just caked the fuck out of my face <coughs> <clears throat> okay, for eyes, I really don't know. I have a couple inspo picks. I am gonna wear contacts for this. I've had these contacts for like years. So I put the contacts in a couple days ago just to try them out, just to make sure that they were all good. And it totally stung my eye. My eye was like really red. And I was like, wait, this is low key a vibe. So I kind of want to do like a red makeup, like make my eyes look kind of like red and sore because I imagine for like my costume, this creature is immersed in water. I'm sure like as a creature, like technically their eyes wouldn't be irritated by water, but it makes sense in my head. I'm just gonna start and see where it takes me. Or I could do something sick like this. I also have this as inspo. Like if I could combine that and this. But I don't know if this is really like a dark eye vibe, you know? I agree, I don't think. I mean, either way, I do want my eyes to be defined. And I feel like as a deep sea creature, they're not getting a lot of sunlight. And so their face is going to be more sunken, yeah. is what I imagine. Okay, I like how this is turning out, actually. Let me see. I think it looks so oh, good. It does look so good. Wait, the crazy part about this is I literally got two new eyeshadows for this look and I have not used a single. You use either one of them. I haven't used either one of them. They are very, like, mermaidy. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to, like, incorporate that. Oh, they're so yeah, they're beautiful. I can definitely use them for my scales. I think if I put it on the middle of my lid, like a little wet. For this, I'm using the Urban Decay Moon Dust in Solstice. I feel like it's giving Ursula a little bit. Who's Ursula? From The Little Mermaid. Oh, yes. BFFR. Who's Ursula? I'm not sure how I feel about the green glitter. I feel like it's giving too much mermaid and not enough siren. That's what I was... Where avoiding go. yeah i'm just gonna go with it what are you doing to your hair what yeah. mm -hmm. well that's pretty much it for the makeup so basically i have this bodysuit that i want to use for the scales that i'm gonna make i was too lazy to go out and get like an actual piece of fishnet so i'm doing this instead and i'm just gonna wash the bodysuit later like whatever who cares but the question is which moon dust shadow do i use okay 
I'm gonna use both. That's that's the answer. <laughs> she so. was thinking so hard. <laughs> I was. <laughs> wow. I love the commitment. Here we go, I guess. Okay, yeah, it's super subtle, but that's like exactly what I wanted. I was inspired by, for this like particular scale look, I was inspired by the sirens in Wednesday. I'll do some on my neck when I get dressed and on my body too. It's Reagan's turn now. Oh, it is? Yes. This is the one brush I own and I've had it for like 10 years. That's disgusting. Probably super clean. It's, it has no bacteria. <laughs> At all. At all. <laughs> I just talked about this in my YouTube video. I was like giving a tutorial and I was like, okay, for this look, you're going to have hella fallout. By the end of the look, I had zero fallout. And then I was like, well, every time I do your makeup, I, there's, there's always, always fallout. fallout. But every time I do my makeup, there's never fallout. That's weird. Isn't that weird? We're done. Look at the way that my hand is. Hold on for dear life. What is <laughs> this position? <laughs> Can you hear my music? No. I have it in my ear. Oh my god, I didn't even know you had that shit in. Yeah. Well, you should have just told me to play music. No, it's okay. A really, like, aggressive song just came on, <laughs> and it's like you're, like, doing my cutesy makeup, and I'm like... Very aggressiveness is happening in my ear. Very aggressiveness? <laughs> yes. yes. We love English. I only am not playing music because we're about to be really overstimulated, mm -hmm. so I figured it's better for me, I guess. For you, that's fine. <laughs> but we can play music if you want. Oh, I don't, it's okay. I don't... I'm totally happy with my AirPods. We need to be on the same vibe. Okay, look down. Okay, gorge. I know. <laughs> wow. I'm fucking talented as shit. <laughs> so, it does one line. <laughs> <laughs> Will you try to do it? No, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello. These are the eyes. Wow. It looks so good in the camera. Yay! For anybody who wants to be a leopard for Halloween, here's your inspo. Do you want any more? Oh no, that's cute. Ooh, it looks so good! Yay, yay, yay. Okay, now I gotta go do my hair. Thank you. Okay. We have to finish up and we'll be back yes. with the final look. The finished look. Is it cute? Yeah, super cute. Do a spin. Oh, and the nails. Okay, so we're at shoot location. We're at shoot. We're at shoot. We're at shoot. We're at shoot. It's freezing. She heard, she heard. Is officially Halloween. We're about to get ready. We're literally just gonna do the same looks that we did two days ago, but I think 
For mine, I'm gonna try to work with a silver instead of the purples and the reds. Just cause like, I mean, I have a second opportunity to do this look, so might as well like have fun with it. My skin is freaking out and you guys can like never tell because my camera kind of makes my skin look really nice, but I have like a cluster of shit right here, a cluster of shit right here. Mm, it like hurts. Okay, yeah, I like your story. We're working on the Halloween posts right now. Here we go. So because we are throwing the party, we have to go early. It's 3 p.m. right now. We want to get there by six. That's a sitch. <laughs> Whoa, did you guys see that? I just caught that in midair. Wow. Should we set an intention for our makeup and just like the vibe that we're going to be on today? Yeah. Honestly, the last couple days have been so, at least for me, very high anxiety and very overwhelming and very stressful, which is like not what I wanted going into this. Obviously, I've done such an extensive job planning this week and I really wanted to avoid like those really rushed moments or like the unexpected things, but like unexpected things are simply just a part of life and it's not possible to control everything it sucks that i've kind of been really like anxious this entire time so today i want to set a better intention every time i do this it helps just kind of direct my energy in a more intentional way so my intention today is to just be present and enjoy that's it Things just keep like, it simple it's been a process, planning everything, and I want to enjoy the fruits of my labor, so that's my intention. Good. What about you? I love that. I haven't had as much anxiety, <laughs> but one thing when I first got here was like, it had been a year since I have been in LA. So one of my things was like, I need to be thankful that I am here and spending this time with her. I could go along with the being present. I'm just like enjoying this last two days. Totally. And then I got to be here longer than I usually am. Yeah, and we get to go to Air One twice this trip. So. <laughs> That's critical. We're doubling up on setting spray because we need this shit to last all night. It's really early. And we're gonna be going until probably like three Don't in the morning. Worry, She's like, don't, don't, don't say that. We'll see how long I last. I gotta do work tomorrow. Actually, big Reagan update. Reagan is moving to New York. Mm -hmm. Big announcement. Yes. This is a big it, step in our adulthood life. Mm -hmm. It all happened really quickly. I wasn't planning to move until January. And then in the beginning of October, I found out I was moving and I had one month to move. It all was actually officially finalized today. Shout out to Sammy. <laughs> He's being Aang from Avatar, The Last Airbender, yeah. which is like the most iconic costume ever. He always pops the fuck off for Halloween. This is my sister's friend, by the way. Last year, this man is full Chinese, so his hair is like really hard to dye. But last year, he did like a full blonde transformation and did Ken for Halloween, and it looked so fucking good. And this year, he shaved his fucking head for this. <gasps> That's crazy. I know. He did Avatar The Last Airbender with the shaved head. He did, I forget his name, but the bald guy from Breaking Bad. I never really got through Breaking Bad. I know it's a really good show, but mm, I just didn't get through it. And then he did One Punch Man for our anime levas. He always eats up Halloween and I am absolutely obsessed. Oh. That ponytail. My ponytail. Oh, you still have to do the dance for me. Oh my god, I learned that it's okay, I'm okay dance. It's not very good. Don't have high expectations for me. I videoed myself doing the dance and I was like, oh my god, you cannot perform this for anybody. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? <laughs> so the scales that we tried to do last time totally failed. So I'm gonna try to use like a different color to see if that works better. The silver is like far more pigmented than I guess the other colors that I was using. The other colors ended up being a little too subtle. Okay, let's see. And that's still really subtle. You could do more. Okay. It's fine. Pigmented? Yep. Okay, finally something happened. This was my vision. For the shoot. Which, <laughs> it didn't happen. So, it's 
really good. Okay, it's time for hair. I think this time I'm gonna try to straighten my hair and then put the wet stuff in it. My idea was that it'll emulate when a siren with long hair gets out of the water. Also, the product that I used, which I researched the wet hair tutorial that Kim K's hairstylist uses on hers, and I use the same product. It's a wow pop and lock. He says that if you like really drench your hair in it, it'll stay wet like that, but my hair literally, it dried on my hair. I think I'm gonna try to do like slicked back kind of thing, like I just got out of the water. I literally have used this entire bottle between shoot day and today. Okay, it's time to go. We're gonna do final touches for the outfit after we get there because we still need to finish setting up, which we don't really wanna do in our costumes. But this is the hair. I really don't think it's gonna stay like this for very long, to be honest. I'm just gonna bring this and I guess touch it up throughout the night. I don't even know. <laughs> Good morning, it's the morning after, so obviously we had to get a little air one. I got the matcha vanilla smoothie, yarn corn, some spicy tuna, a glow potion wellness shot, cause my skin, and then a chorizo and potatoes egg burrito. This is not my first time trying this smoothie. Reagan got it like two days ago and it was delish. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. Wait, you just said you don't really like this? No. What is that? It's the aloe berries and cream. So what's wrong with it? It's just too berry for me. Let me try. Not enough cream. It's like you can taste the seeds of the berries. It's a little tart. Oh. And I don't really like that. I actually don't mind that. Okay, what did you get? Starting with water. And then I bought this moon juice. I've never tried it. It's electrolytes. I got a glow potion too because my... I have purple patches on. <laughs> the aloe smoothie, which is not good, but hopefully oh, my matcha is really good. Taste test. It's decent. I've had yeah. better. Wait, let me try it. I'm not super impressed today. <laughs> I understand what you're saying about the matcha. Mm -hmm. But then I got these, they're really good. I've had them once before, but no seed oils. They're tortilla oh, chips, and this flavor is habanero. So it's a little spicy, spicy. With guac, of course. I got a cookie for Ariana and I to share later. And then I got a plate of <laughs> random stuff. That was <laughs> way too expensive. <laughs> we have the cauliflower, noodles, and beef. And that's all. Should we take this shot? Yeah, we should. I feel like it's more fun when they like don't taste good. <laughs> I'm thinking. It's fine. I think the salsa it makes it good. I've had way better back for breakfast. I could have just gotten this and been fine. Every time I come here starving and I get more than I want. This is good. I like this. I approve this smoothie. I give it honestly like a nine out of 10. I like this one. The short and sweet smoothie still top. This one is like top four or top five, maybe like top two. Maybe I do like short and sweet first, this one second, and then Jay Shetty's smoothie and the Kidney Fork smoothie, they fight for third place. And all the rest of the smoothies that I've tried, which I don't even remember. <laughs> Reagan went and got another smoothie because she didn't like her aloe one. Yeah. And this is what it, it looks shit. like. It's a baby. What even is it? I don't even know. Okay, taste test. <laughs> Jeff mm. J F L O. It's one of the collab it's smoothies. It's better, yeah. Do you it's know what's more in it? creamy, which I like a creamier 
banana smoothie usually. It's like banana, vanilla, cream. Let me try it. It's cool color. I like it better. That one I think is my favorite though. Yeah, that's not bad. It tastes like a banana smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fucking wrap. It's officially Christmas time. Last night was very fun. I think the party was a success. The floors right now are so sticky. It's disgusting. Thanks for watching. Bye Until bye. next year. Stay spooky. Stay spooky. I'm gonna drink my electrolyte. This is disgusting. It's so fucking disgusting, bro. I'm so upset because the water tasted so good. Sometimes less is more. No, I needed electrolytes. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting gonna, bad. You're not going to drink it. I am going to drink okay. it. Okay. So gross. I don't recommend moon juice electrolytes. Don't buy it. <laughs> Anti-marketing. Oh. Oh, I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? Can you talk about the Fuck no. Oh. I'm not putting that drama on YouTube. So, I got recommended this product. It's called Z-Biotic by my cousin. He works in the medical field, so he knows what he's talking about. But basically, it's this probiotic drink that you drink before you drink alcohol. And it acts like as a middleman for the compound of alcohol that doesn't digest well in your stomach. I don't know the scientific term for it. It starts with an A, but basically it helps alcohol digest in your body better and pretty much prevents hangovers. So I took this little Z-Biotic before drinking yesterday and I completely don't have a hangover right now, which is iconic as fuck because I was drinking on an empty stomach, do not recommend, but I was drinking on an empty stomach and I drank a lot more than I normally would have. I will say though, I feel like the drunk that I was was different than the drunk I would be if I didn't take that Z-Biotic. I just felt a lot more clear headed. I literally remember everything. I could process exactly what was going on and everything was very clear. You know, like when you get fucked up and you're like, li -li 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 -li, you don't really remember shit. Things are blurry. And even in the moment, you're like not really understanding what's going on and for sure that's nice but also sometimes i was thinking like during the party i was like well i kind of want to feel like silly goofy and not really like know what the fuck i'm doing or who i'm talking to and just be like la 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 you know so in the moment i was like oh that's kind of a bummer like i don't really want to be so clear-headed right now but this morning, I didn't wake up with the spins, you know? I woke up totally good. So I think it's just kind of like, I need to decide when I want to have like a blurry night and be hungover or when I don't want to be hungover. And so I'll have like a clear headed drunk time. You know what I'm saying? But who wouldn't want a more clear headed drunk? Yesterday, I didn't want. You didn't want it? Yesterday, I was like, why the fuck am I so present right now? Which is why I kept drinking more. Because I was like, oh. I want to be like, <laughs> You know, like, I don't want to know what's going on right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is true. Like, who doesn't want to be clear-headed when they're drunk? So I think it just depends on the vibe that you want. I mean, that's that was the vibe that I wanted last night. But honestly, so glad to have found this product because even if you want, like, a incoherent drunk, you don't want the hangover after. And this is not an ad. I would love it to be an ad, though. Manifesting. I'll link their info down below. That's a tea. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Hope you had an amazing Halloween. See you next year. Oh, like the, like the little leopard prints. Oh, you don't oh shit. We're gonna bleep that. <sighs> That's good, okay. okay. <laughs> Leave me. No, no, we don't want to hear me sing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Recommend play my song on the radio. I'm also incorporating. <laughs> That's a wrap on them. My brain not work. <coughs> Coming to vlog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to get the photo. <laughs> Do the head thing. How are we all doing tonight? Good. Stay classy, guys. Stay classy. I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron Burgundy. Oh my god! <laughs>